So, God, I submit myself to you. I submit myself under the authority of the written word of God. I submit myself under the authority of this apostolic center. And I submit myself under God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And I am asking that you will cause there to be an alignment for such a time as this, for a time like no other. Amen. I feel to give you this little word of a warning that was given to me recently. It was a dream that happened twice, but the dream has occurred in two different settings. I only actually realized that I've had this dream two times uh, recently. First time was about six weeks ago. And the dream is like the un-OK corral, where you have two men, like on a Western, and they're going to do a shootout. One at one end of the street and one at the other. And they pull out their guns on one another. And as they do, there's no bullets that come out. As they pull their guns on one another, they blast one another with words. With words. And I wake up, because this is how God works consistently with me, but not only with me. I have the dream person at one end of the street, a person at another, they pull out their six shooters or whatever it is, their guns, they pull the trigger, there's not bullets, it's words. And they're blasting one another with words. I wake up out of the dream and then I hear, not in my heart, I have these encounters, I hear the external, external audible voice of the Lord in my room. And this has happened so many times with me. I don't have an idea how many times I have heard not only the internal, I'm talking the external audible voice of the Lord. And it's how just, it's, it's how it happens for me. Not every day, but in these encounters, it's the way it works. I have the dream. I wake up and I wake up because I hear the external audible voice of the Lord. And I hear these words. Be careful. That in the coming months, you do not get caught up in the war of words. Now that captured my attention because I was already starting to get tripped up into some uh, tricky, detailed communications with multiple people. Then, about two weeks after that, I have another dream. This dream didn't have any people in it at all. This dream was pow- uh, 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 all about the sky and there's rolling clouds thunder rolling clouds thunderous rolling clouds dark foreboding and it's just rolling clouds and then lightning in the clouds but it's a thunderstorm and it's just you know what i'm talking about and it's rolling 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 and i wake up from what an audible voice from the Lord. Same word, but two different perspectives. First one is in the natural, two people at war with each other. The second dream, though, is about the heavenlies, the war in the heavenlies, and it's mounting. And I wake up 
not knowing these two dreams would be connected at all. I'm just having another dream. I'm just having a dream about a raging thunderstorm in the mid heavens. And though I wake up with an external audible voice of the Lord that says, you must be careful because to not, you must be careful not to get caught up in the coming months in the war of words. Mark it down. Well, you say, well, that can't be a word from the Lord. That dream might just help save your life. In a business dealing, in wrangling, in a apostolic networking, uh, something that could go awry, on nitpicking, or how about in a marriage? Or how about, because then the Holy Spirit started talking to me on national and international politics, geopolitical spheres. And how about news and fake news and then going into something called elections? And you must be careful in the coming months because, folks, you think it's been kind of nasty? Let's get real. It's going to get hot in the kitchen. And I have a word of wisdom. Be careful. Would you look at me right now? We're kingdom people. What area of space are we supposed to fly in? See, we can be earthlings down here on oh, we are. And we can take out our pistols and just blast. And we can also get caught up in the mid heavens and just be influenced from under the territorial spirits at war. Or we can arise above each of those spheres and be seated with Christ Jesus above all powers and principalities and the spirits of wickedness in the heavenly places and be kingdom people because he tips us off ahead of time and he says, hey, that's how Bobby Connor would do it. He'd go, hey, you must be careful because in the coming months, you better be careful that you, that you don't get caught up in the war of words.